Friday Eve, so how about we already get you in a weekend mood? Let's talk about some laughs. So Laugh It Off is a comedy skit about life as a South African Indian. It's not easy, I'll tell you. This comedy takes you through experiences from weddings to funerals and even parties. It's a truly authentic experience that makes light of the most peculiar homegrown traditions and quirks. So we're joined this morning by two of the leading ladies, Kri J. Governor and Leander Reddy. Double trouble, as I like to call them. <laughs> ladies, good morning. Good morning And to you. welcome. So let's talk about Laugh It Off, uh, and uh, Krija, you, you, we'll start with you. It's, it's, a, it's, you've put it together, all the different skits of your most popular shows. Yes, so we've, uh, Leander and I have teamed up for many years. Yeah, you're old friends. Uh, uh, yes, yeah. as writers, uh, producers, and official fighters. <laughs> um, and so this is, we've done 150 years and still laughing and buckled, and shows that have been very, very well received. Yeah. And this is a, um, a mix of all the favorites of the audiences, actually. So it's the best of all our comedy skits from about five or six shows. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's fantastic. Well, you're, you're almost like an ab fab kind of duo. So I know the characters. I know some of them. So Leander, just for those who've seen the shows, just give us examples of who we, we can expect to see. In well, the show. Uh, as you know, a favorite, and I know it's your family's favorite as well, is Uncle Eric. Uncle um, Eric. <laughs> he seems to have a cult following. Yeah. And uh, when I first created the character, I thought, I don't know how people are going to respond because he's such an absolute loser in society. <laughs> he's that uncle. He's at the that function. uncle, yeah. <laughs> and he really makes an entrance in our shows. And when he does, uh, people just absolutely love him, and he seems to have this cult. He has a cult following, yeah. and the, including my children. The interesting yeah. thing yeah. Is, is that she does it with such ease, you yeah. know. And people that know a little bit about acting will say that it, it comes to you a bit too naturally. Yeah, the, <laughs> to be Uncle Eric. To be or Eric, drunk, as you call uh, him. It's yes. not even Eric. Yeah. You it? know, it's the thing Eric. Is, uh, people yeah. know that like he's a total loser and he hasn't made it in life. But the, the way he dispenses these gems of wisdom, as if he's lived it, you know, he's lived life and he can tell you those stories. And he does it and he's completely confident. Yeah. So um, you're happy as playing a man. <laughs> I play Uncle Eric. On yeah, this, uh, well, she Uncle plays quite a few in this one, and she plays the Queen of England. The Queen of England. Yes. Oh, give us some Queen. Oh dear, no, <laughs> no <laughs> not here. <laughs> and your favourite creature? I mean, you've been doing this for eons, also. Who's your favourite person to play from all the? Um, I probably the newsreader because uh, oh. I've always wanted oh. to be one. Oh, you are. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, Why? She's taking well. tips. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. Because um, I think you guys have a fabulous job. That's uh, what you think. Yeah. Everybody That's what we you. make it look like. We make <laughs> it look fabulous. We really um, do. Yeah, just so that we can bring in as much quirks as so, possible. So, uh, Kri plays a character. Uh, one of the scenes we're doing is a funeral scene <laughs> in a comedy show, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, they are funny, uh, and Indians they will can totally funny. be able to relate yeah. to the humor in the funeral scene. And uh, Kri plays the, uh, what do you call the person the, who officiates? Yeah. Oh. You know. And my the funeral uncle, goodness, really. he is hilarious because he's a, a, a completely identifiable. If you've been to an Indian funeral, you know the one man who's going to call the funeral an auspicious occasion, <laughs> <laughs> which he does. And the reasons, you know, why we live this life, it's all very philosophical and poetic and absolutely ridiculous nonsense. But then it, it is the... Uh, you, you know, it sets up the funeral scene, which, I mean, it's supposed to be a somber Yes, event, but we, but we know. We know about the criers, and yes, we know about cry. all know, of those guys. And so. you know how, when you sit at an Indian funeral, you literally have to pretend like you're crying when you're actually laughing, laughing at, at, at the antics that are going at, around. At what's being said, and the throwing themselves on the coffins and all of that that happens. Okay. All the drama. Well, how do you uh, sort of... A lot of people watching and listening might think, okay, that's only for Indian people because they'll identify. But does the show, would any South African be able to find something, some humor in, in the show for themselves? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think because all uh, experiences of tightly knit communities, uh, we share a lot in common and all those experiences have um, a lot of similarities. But also to get an understanding into the creature, which is the South African Indian, yeah. I think a lot of yeah, people should just come in as uh, cultural tourism. Do yeah. Indian people not I get cross with you though for um, making fun of Indian people? Aha. That's where I think we work very well together. Uh, when Lee and I work, there's, there's hardly any time uh, for 
for an in actually enjoyment of the rehearsals because we're always checking with each other is that offensive how will that be received mm -hmm. and she's quite harsh actually which is quite lovely on yeah. no uh, let's not go for the cheap laugh let's rather flip it or make it intelligent so and so uh, I mean you know we'd like to think that our content uh, is where the humor comes from from the actual dialogue and the script and not caricatures yeah, of characters yeah, yeah. and we'd like to think that our characters are not stereotypes they are in fact archetypes uh, that are very relatable yeah. you know everybody can uh, identify but also getting back to your question um, the nice thing about our shows is that it does appeal and it's accessible to all races and all cultures and groups and the feedback we've got is that uh, it's it's great cultural expose yeah you yeah. know getting to know what other cultures are like what their idiosyncrasies are and I think that's what we bring about on stage with our shows can we get a little sample before we let you go I don't know just add a, a little line something something to tease Hello. us with well um, let's just do something from do you want to do something from I think she's great at uh, Eric. You want to give, do us, two? give us a bit of Eric. She can't oh, even what? do Eric because she's not transformed <laughs> or, or anything like that. Um, maybe a line from the, the, the Queen. Yeah. I'm putting oh. Leander on the spot. Yes. What, what, uh, uh, except <laughs> Kesrin is the character, yeah. right? So Kesrin is our other. Yes. Oh, so yeah. we'll just tell you about the Queen. So Kesrin plays a character. We've, we've called him uh, the Tamil man yeah. uh, for but his name is Deshendran Reddy and he's meeting the Queen because his great great grandfather was a, served as a water boy in the, uh, in war, the war, British war. Okay. Um, so he's received a medal of honor and Kesrin uh, has to meet the Queen of England and of course there's complete hilarity because here's a proper South African Indian who's you know very sheltered and uh, and there's the Queen yeah there's yeah. the Queen and of course he doesn't have the decorum um, and but she does. She has uh, exceptional decorum. You have to come to the show. Okay, the point we is not in costume. Just, okay, all right. Yes. We needed you in costume. Next yes. time you bring Uncle Eric with you. I will, will okay, definitely fantastic. bring him. We'll laugh it off. It's uh, the dates? The 5th and 12th of April. That's Fridays. Fridays. Okay, Two Fridays. Fridays. So no yeah. And you can it book can a date comp night. ticket and you get discounts for group bookings. Group bookings. Fantastic. Okay, so that's Double Trouble, Cree J. Governor and Leander Reddy. Their show, Laugh It Off. That's when you can find it. The best of, uh, the best of them as well. Uh, let's go to Lynette.